Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria and today I'm going to be showing everything I eat in a day while breastfeeding. So I started the day with about a liter of water and about half of a banana, um, got on my spin bike and did about 20 minutes there. Now I'm getting the kids ready uh, for the day, made some hash browns for breakfast, they've been snacking on fruit as well. Um, but I do get a lot of questions about breastfeeding, specifically how long I breast plan to breastfeed for. So ideally I try to get my children to two years of breastfeeding uh, per the World Health Organization's uh, recommendation so that the child gets all that they need from breastfeeding in terms of immunity and nutritionally. Um, I recently weaned my four-year-old and she um, breastfed until uh, four years. Um, I started the weaning process when she turned three and so by the time she was four I cut her off completely so she's no longer, longer on breast milk. Now I do supplement my children with vitamin D and B12. I recently found out that I was B t or vitamin D deficient so I figured that the baby's probably been taking all my vitamin D so I might as well supplement her and, su and I'm also supplementing as well because um, that's the way breastfeeding works. If the baby needs something, it will take it from your body and prioritize their needs over yours. So it's really important that you eat enough calories and make sure you're eating enough nutrients as well while breastfeeding. Um, so I will use Chronometer from time to time. Maybe I'll use it today to show you guys the nutrients that I'm getting from my diet as well. Um, so I do breastfeed the baby about... 50% of her calories are coming from breast milk and about 50% from food, sometimes more, sometimes less. It kind of depends on the day and what's going on and um, how she's feeling, if she's teething or if she's under the weather, she's generally going to breastfeed more. Um, and that's, you know, the way it is. Breast milk is a natural pain reliever. It can also produce the um, immune factors that a baby needs in order to overcome illness, so it's pretty magical. It also helps to keep your body nice and fit and lean. Um, breastfeeding is catabolic in that way, so you can get a, keep a nice lean figure, but I also uh, contribute that to sticking with a high carb, low fat plant-based vegan diet and staying active as well. So. Um, yeah, follow me through my day. Let me know if you have any questions or comments about breastfeeding and I'll show you everything I eat. All right, so we're about to get ready to go to school, take Lily to school and then go to the gym. So I'm gonna have some of this juice and I'm putting a shot glass full of cane sugar into here. I plan on doing a run this morning and probably some more on the bike, stretching, yeah. So generally overnight I do a lot of breastfeeding, um, especially last night the baby was up a lot nursing. Uh, so I like to add sugar to my juices. Or smoothies. And just get a lot of simple sugars in with um, fruits in the morning to help replenish my system over from um, the depletion overnight. And so that I'm able to do everything that I need to do in a day. I gotta say the biggest difference that I've made recently in my diet is adding sugar to like smoothies and juices um, because it's allowed me to just be more productive as a mom, be a better mom, be able to handle my kids being sick and anything else that you know comes our way because being a mom is hard work and kudos to all the moms out there because Mom and ate easy, but adding sugar to your diet definitely makes it easy. You just want to make sure that your diet is low in fat so you don't develop insulin resistance. Because insulin resistance happens when your diet is high in fat. Um, and uh, so human mother's breast milk also contains sugar. It's essentially like creamy sugar water. So yeah, don't be afraid of the sugar because the baby gets it in too. And sugar is sugar, whether it's in your breast milk, it's in you know, cane sugar, it's in a juice, it's in fruit, it's in potatoes. Glucose is glucose. Violet, what do you want? I'll pick it. <laughs> okay. Ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Here you go. 
Okay, so this is um, our second nursing session of the morning. So she had some milk when she first got up this morning. And she also nurses through the night. And this is our mid-morning nursing snack. All right, so I'm at the gym. I did a 5K in 29.50. Honestly, I've been dragging ass ever since uh, my kids got sick and I didn't really sleep for five days in a row. So I'm kind of in a recovery week. Now I'm spinning out the legs. And then I'll show you what I eat after the gym. All right, I just got out of the gym and Violet and I are both snacking on apples. She's got one back here. Before we go get low. Whee! Date time. All right, I just had a shower and nursed the baby while we were in the bathtub together. And now I'm getting lunch ready. I'm going to be making myself a banana smoothie. And I'll show you what I'm making for the kids. Um, we also had snacks in the car. I showed you mine. And um, Lily also had an apple. The kids had some, like, uh, veggie sticks. And, um, oh, and they had some of my dates, too. All right, so here's Lily's lunch. She's getting baby carrots and a grilled cheese. This has um, the chow original slices in it. I just used one slice, and then I... Um, put a little bit of earth balance butter in the pan because she likes it toasty and then I have a vitamin C here and their B12 and vitamin D Okay, so I probably have like six bananas in there some water and this is a third cup of cane sugar And I also started my menstrual cycle today. So it's kind of a what I eat in a day when I get my period so here's my smoothie, yummy, and I also made the baby a little one, and I'm going to go give her her vitamins, and she also has some vegan mac and cheese on the way for lunch too. Is that yummy? Mm -hmm. Put your fork in there, you try it. You can do it. There you go. Mmm. Okay, now I'm gonna have some leftover rice with some seaweed in there. They're like little wraps. That's what we couldn't finish last night. Then I have some barbecue sauce for dipping. Plastic? Yeah, you kids ain't gonna save them with you. Hey, and I'm not asking oh, you to stay. Yeah, but the difference is you're actually. It's not fucking 1950, girl. Yeah, seriously, mind your own business. You think it's okay? Girl, you're a girl. 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 you Okay, so on this little rice cake snack that I've made, I put some spring mix and I made a sauce of soy sauce and some Tabasco with some water and diluted it a little bit. And it just pour oh, too much. Pour that on there and then I just top it with a piece of seaweed for a little sandwich. And here's dinner. I have a bowl of sticky rice with a little bit of broccoli, a conglomerate here of lemon juice, soy sauce, hot sauce, and barbecue sauce, and some sushi sheets. Yep. Men, women, and relationships. Let's start. Is he handsome? Is he a doctor? All right, here's the baby's dinner. Some broccoli, rice, and some fries. When she wakes up, she's been napping. Um, she also had carrots, mixed vegetables, and a popsicle earlier. And then this is my last meal of the day, last snack. I have some plain rice cakes with strawberry jam. <laughs> Yummy! Alright, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me leave any comments or questions down below. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And let me know what you think about my meals.
They're very yummy. Bye. And don't forget to carve up so you can be the best version of yourself.